Hey guys, my name is Trudy Healy. I'm your weekly angel card reader here for Beacons of Angel Light. And this is your weekly angel card reading beginning the week December 19, 2016. And so this week for a change, I won't be using Doreen Virtue's angel cards. Instead, I'm going to be using Tony, Car Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, and it's Blue Angel Oracle cards. They are Archangel Michael cards, and that's what guided me towards them was Archangel Michael himself. It was a crazy journey how I encountered these cards. Um, before I get into the reading, I did, however, want to express my um, apologies that I couldn't get my act together and post last week's video. I was going through some... Um, it was the pre-Mercury retrograde and a whole lot of deeper understanding that I was going through. So I do apologize, but I'm feeling refreshed and I have a new understanding of a lot of different things. Um, I also want to send out my condolences um, to the family of Eric, who we've now lost, a friend of mine, Eric DeWitt. So um, lots of things happened last week. And you guys may have already been tuning into the Mercurian energy because Mercury is going into retrograde. Even as I say that, there's a child crying. <laughs> um, so the planet Mercury, from the stance of planet Earth, it appears that Mercury is going in backward rotation. And it's just because Mercury takes four years to make its circumference around the sun um, and planet Earth takes one year. So it appears from our standpoint that the planet is going into a retrograde. It is still giving us its energy, but it's giving us its energy from the backside. And so this can lead to a lot of miscommunication and a lot of misunderstandings, technical difficulties. Um, you know, we're sending things out. We're potentially traveling. There could traveling that is. There could be a lot of delays in travel or in receiving um, messages or in receiving packages. Packages. It's it's the planet that rules all communication and technology. So I really want to give that to you if you are presented with. A scenario which is verging on World War III, please <laughs> spare everybody the World War III scenario and just walk away and save it for a later date. So um, with that, I have already pre-shuffled the cards because I'm getting familiar with the deck. So I won't be shuffling these live until I feel comfortable. Um, so I have the um, I have the cards here, and the first card that we got was. Synchrotron, or yeah, Synchrotron. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Anyway, so there's my interpretation to this card, and like I could read it to you straight from the book, but basically, this is a manifesting card. It's a card that is telling us that there are worlds, even where we would ordinarily not picture there to be a world, like you know, in uh, Horton Hears a Who, there's that thistle or whatever it was and it had an entire you know world of tiny beings and so that you know it, it's on a microscopic level that we have to take a deeper look and we always have to create like now is the time to create now is the the opportunity that we're being given there's an infinity sign right there at the center of all of these energies and some of them are circumference they're going around the circumference of it some of them are you know coming at it from other sides there's all different kind of energies being thrown there at the infinity and we are the infinity because we are the infinite being the infinite creator you know we are part of it all and so as long as we are creating from love and the heart chakra you know we are going to be in tune and in harmony with what is God and so that's what Archangel Michael is telling us with this card um, and then we got, <clears throat> excuse me, Crimson Angel. And this is a healing. The keyword there is healing. And so, again, it has to do with the heart chakra. Um, you know, he's really driving it home to, like, heal yourself, love yourself, every minute aspect of yourself, forgive yourself, and accept that those around you are also going through their own 
and forgive them from your love. You know, love can be born of so many different ways. Let there be love in everything that you see, everything that you speak, and everything that you hear. Because sometimes the words that we hear, we're not really seeing how they turn that way. But there is originally love somewhere along the path for it to have turned so passionately something else, you know? So we have to find the root of it, and there's love, there's love. So um, then we got the pen, pen dragon sword. Um, now this one has to do, again, for me with manifesting, I, my interpretation of this card had to do so much with manifesting because it's like we are wielding the sword. We're able to, you know, do away with that which no longer serves. And it's a balance. It's power and it's also knowledge. So it's a balance of the two. And with that balance and all of the love emitting from our heart chakra, this is going to be really healthy. So we need to be balanced in our actions. We need to be knowledgeable and we need to be courageous and know that we are, be confident in ourselves. You know, so lots of us are not confident in our abilities and our power of even word. You know, and so we need this is encouragement that we are doing the right things and that we are doing, you know, it's encouragement to continue and, and to be strong. Um, okay, and this is Maitra. I, I don't even know. Maitria. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Um, and it's a beautiful card. It has to do with wisdom of the ages. Now, the book has its own meaning, but what I'm going to give you is something that's been like a reoccurring thought to me like for a long time for I want to say the last few weeks and today again even before I started shooting I was thinking about the generations and this has to do with lifetimes this has to do with you know the generations that we have and the wisdom that we've gained through the generations that have existed throughout all of the existence of humanity so we are to give credit to our ancestors and we are also to realize that, you know, in a potentially in a last lifetime, we were the children of our children and the parents of our parents and the roles have been inverted, you know. So uh, there's lots of lessons to be learned in why we are existing this day and age and the lessons that were learned previously so that we can apply them once more. And so that's what this is referring to. Um, and so, well, that's our reading for the week. Um, but I did want to drive home about the Mercurian retrograde. Um, we've dealt with this before, so I don't want you to go into, you know, the Christmas holiday feeling fearful because that's the last thing that I want to do to you, my darlings. I, I just want to advise you to stay away from arguing and you know lower vibrations instead dive in and 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 wonder and speculate to yourself as to what it is that can be learned from the situation or why you feel the way that you feel and then address it at a later time um, it's a time for self-enlightenment and you know picking up projects that you've left behind hitting the books again um, studying and things like that um, so it's not a time for picking up new things and if you are traveling make sure that you give yourself ample time drink lots of water try to sleep well um, make sure that you know like the battery and the tires are good on your car uh, because this has to do with electronics and communication so um, we dealt with it last year and we survived you'll be okay but I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful Merry Christmas uh, Kwanzaa um, Hanukkah whatever it is that you may be celebrating and if you're not celebrating anything then have a wonderful week anyways I love you all so very much love yourselves and love everyone around you Mwah.